All right, silver and gold stalling out, huh? Got you frustrated? Don't panic, it's not time to panic, guys. All right, guys, welcome back once again. SB here, it's been a week since my last video. You are currently looking through my latest silver and gold purchase. It's taken me a while to get this thing set up, get the lighting right, get everything the way that I want it to, to look. So I hope it comes out pretty good. Uh, initial thoughts are looking pretty good. All right, so the reason why I'm bringing up the camera, other than it being new and setting it up and everything, is the fact that if I would have bought this same phone or same camera last year for a lesser quality it would have cost me three hundred dollars more than this year that is deflationary guys that is deflationary now the quality on this camera is much better than last year's although the price was significantly cheaper it is a better value this year than it was last year now if inflation is just keeps going up over and over and over again then that would not have occurred correct now, I already hear the comments starting to be typed out down below, but what about gas prices? What about food prices? What are you talking about, dude? Inflation is everywhere. And I get it. I understand 100%. Yes, there are things that are very inflated right now, but silver and gold are definitely deflationary as compared to last year. And there are several reasons for that. Number one is you have a stronger dollar. Whether you like that or not, that is the case. Number two, you have an economy that is starting to turn around. It's starting to move in the right direction. Now, the latest job numbers that did come out, they are extremely impressive. Now, does that mean that they are 100% real? That's up for you guys uh, to decide or debate or whatever. That might be a lot of jobs coming back that were lost previously. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. They were not new jobs created. I'll go ahead and say that right now. But as far as the economy starting to come back, starting to move in the right direction, that is an overall good sign because our economy in the United States, it depends on spending and let me tell you something with the stimulus that just came out, me and the wife, we went out last weekend and we were amazed at how many people were out there actually buying goods and services out there. I mean, it was jam packed everywhere we went and we did not get the stimulus, but that's OK. I'm not here to complain about that. There's a lot of people out there that do need it. But what you got going on right now is you got stimulus. Plus, you got income tax returns coming back at the same time. People are flushed with cash. So what are they doing? They're out spending. They have extra income, so they're out there buying stuff that they want, which uh, it's a good thing. It's great for the economy. That's what that's what this is all about, trying to get some type of recovery. Now, all of that is taking place. What you are seeing is is you're seeing deflationary towards silver and gold. The prices were elevated last year. So naturally, they're coming back down. That's what's taking place. That's exactly what's taking place. So silver and gold, whenever you want it to go up, you want it to go up organically. You don't want some group, and I'm not throwing shade here, but you don't want some group just boosting it up, trying to inflate it. That's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. The only thing that that's going to do is, is that's going to dry up supply and it's going to drive up premiums and it's going to it's going to go against the whole purpose of stacking, in my opinion. And uh, it's not that I don't like the extra exposure. It's not that I don't agree with it. It's just the fact that I just don't like someone telling me when and where to go and buy at what time that leaves you susceptible to gouging now what do i mean by gouging i mean you are leaving yourself open to someone just changing their prices moving them up so that they can make extra profits because they know that there's a whole group of people coming to buy 
right then and there on their site. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Be careful. Be cognizant of that type of situation. Now, if you want to look into the best asset into what to buy right now, as far as them being deflationary, I would go with gold. And the reason why I would go with gold is because the premiums and the fact that it's on sale right now is, is, is extremely cheap compared to the way it was in 2020. It is on sale. So right now it's the better buy, in my opinion, even though silver has a lot of potential. Gold is obviously the better buy at this current moment. Now. When is silver going to pop? Like a lot of people, they want to know when it's going to shoot up and shoot the moon and go crazy and ballistic. Now, I can't tell you for sure when that's going to happen. I'm not an economist. OK, that's not what I specialize in at all. I'm not even close. But I will tell you this. The velocity of money has been way down. OK, it has been way down. Now, the fact that people are out spending income, whether it's from the government, whether it's from their own jobs or whatever, the fact that they're out spending money right now, it's going to dilute the money supply. It's actually going to start driving up, right? The velocity of money that is going to be inflationary in theory. That's going to be inflationary to the U.S. dollar. It's going to cause it to go down. So therefore, you should have silver and gold moving up. Check out that milk spot. Ugh, horrible. So the only thing that I think that could stop silver and gold from moving way up is the fact that you have cryptocurrencies right now and they are in a bull run. Uh, to be honest with you, I just uh, sold off uh, all of my Ethereum because I actually doubled my investment. So therefore I moved it out and I put it in stable coins and I'm waiting for another dip and then I will move it back in and hopefully ride that train back on up there because right now they're in a bull run. All right. So that's what I'm looking to do right now. Now, later this year, when the bull run ends, that's when I want to start uh, shorting. That's when I want to make money going down and, uh, well, I probably shouldn't call it money, but I, I just want to gain income as it's going down. So I'm going to actually short it. I don't want to be one of the holders of cryptocurrency. That's just not my that's just not my way of thinking about it. I want to swing trade it. I want to get in and I want to get out. I want to take my profits and I want to get out, move it and then move on to the next one. You just have to be careful whenever you're. Uh, investing like that. This is not investment advice, guys, by any means. OK, I'm just a you know, you're going to lose everything if you listen to me. This is just what I'm doing. It's just what works for best for me. OK, uh, I'm not a big baller or anything like that. OK, but uh, I, I do want to dabble with it. And if I can make a little extra income, that's what I'm going to do. And that's the whole point of doing this is to move money around. Right. Move assets around and try to generate more and more income that way i can retire earlier but just keep in mind there's risk and there's reward with any type of investment so just be careful okay uh gold and silver for me is 100 percent a savings account and if i'm spending extra in order to get it then i'm really not saving too much right so what i want to do is is I want to save money with silver and gold. Just put it off to the side. Forget about it. Leave it there, you know, buried. And then whenever the time comes that I need it or to give to my kids or whatever, it's there. All right. That's going to do it for today, guys. Keep grinding on your stack.